I'm at Dean Patterman's driveway and he wants to pave it. Um, it's a really long driveway. It goes all the way back to the back of his property. Uh, he grades it a lot himself. Over time, he's brought in some, some recycled asphalt material and spread it over his driveway in some areas. But uh, it's in pretty good shape as far as gravel goes. So we probably just need to pave it. But what we need to do out here at the entrance is kind of taper it in on both sides. And so what he'd like to do is where my car is at, attach the pavement to the road here and catch this area here where the um, mailbox, uh, the postal service can come in, deliver mail and leave. So we would taper it in here and then where my car is at, taper it there and then go all the way up to the gate and all the way through. I've got measurements here that I'll be able to share. All right, so coming into the gate, you've got the driveway. He just wants to keep the asphalt where the gravel is showing, but it goes all the way up the hill. And uh, you got a couple little potholes here and there that Dean said he could work on himself. Uh, we've got this driveway that's included on this side. And uh, he wants to pave up to the rocks all the way around and just, you know, uh, to the grass, up to the uh, concrete sidewalk, and then back out this way. And then <clears throat> follow it up the hill. Uh, I asked if he wanted to have it crowned. He said, just follow what the existing uh, driveway is doing right now. And some areas it's kind of crowned, some areas it's not. He said the water will either drain left or drain right and it's okay either direction that it drains so I figured if it's if it's a little bit crowned then it's okay but the other thing too is he said when it snows he likes to uh, you know bring out his little snow plow and, and clear the road and he said it you know the flatter it is the better so uh, I guess more importantly than crowning the road is you know having it slant one way or the other uh, for drainage coming up the hill here it kind of slants to the left uh, it also slants to the right so there's really no particular direction that it goes that's consistent so you come up the hill here it slants to the left and he says that's okay so uh, you know a lot of this is uh, gravel plus looks like uh, wrap and now I'm driving on to some asphalt here so as we come up the hill, you got a little bit of asphalt that we're going to have to either just overlay right over the top or, or t rip it out and put back in new. Okay, so as we were coming up the hill, we're going to uh, bring the asphalt, uh, just follow the gravel up to here, and then we're going to do a 90-degree uh, shot right off the corner of the building and out and then it'll come down. We'll follow the concrete here on this concrete pad. We'll follow the rocks up against there, the rock wall. Follow this concrete through here, and then we'll do a 90 degree right off this corner to here, and then go up to the steps right around the uh, railroad ties to the back of the um, propane tank. Get all this area up here to the concrete, follow the gravel out to here and then right about where the snow's at we do a straight shot over so we'll go straight to the back here come up along the railroad ties and that should do it